All right, this one I actually had to make right after school because, uh, wow, just got busy and actually busy, not like fake busy. All right, I realize I'm out of kilter here, but I don't really want to move the camera, so should I slouch? There we go. Cool guy. All right, guess I'm slouching. Hi there. All right, lesson of the day. Read for intent, not content. So I did two things with this. First, I gave them just the idea of what this means. So I gave them the example of a date. You do not, I don't have a prop here, but so I do not go, so high school me does not go up to high school girl over here and say, we need food to survive. Let us go take some sustenance together. And you go have bread and a protein shake, which will keep you alive. That's the content of what you're doing. You eat to stay alive, but that would be odd, boring, dull. It's the intent. We go out because it's communal. We go out because it's a good time. We go out because maybe I'm trying to impress her by taking her to the Olive Garden or the Cheesecake Factory. This is intent. What is your plan? What is your reason? Well, I want to impress you. I want to take you somewhere nice. I want you to know what kind of person I am. These are reasons I have to eat beyond just the, I must survive. Now I realize I'm stretching a metaphor here, but the idea is what I'm going for. When we read, if we read only for content, we're going to be pretty bored by almost everything we read because who cares? We just read Ben Franklin in one class. We just read uh, Most Dangerous Game in another class. Boring. Who cares? If you are reading only for content, then you are relying on the interest of the story to guide you. By the way, slouching like this. Man, my chair is squeaking. So I better move this up a little bit. There we go. Because I don't like the slouch. I, I, I don't know. I felt even fatter than normal, and I feel fat all the time. Uh, but I don't want to hear a story about Ben Franklin growing up. I don't want to read about, insert whatever story we read here. Correct. If we are relying on content, we could be in trouble. Uh, it's a Wednesday. She-Hulk, I believe, comes out tonight. I'm going to watch it. Well, why? Content. I don't miss anything in the MCU. Uh, if the uh, new Lord of the Rings show coming out, I will watch it. Why? Lord of the Rings. I don't want to miss it. What's the other one? What's the other one? Ooh, Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon. I, I have two episodes so far. I haven't missed it. Well, why? Because the content amazes me. I'm a nerd. I like superheroes, I like dragons, I like elves. I, I'm into that stuff. I'm not really all that cool. So because I'm into all that stuff, the content pulls me in. Well, what if I uh, will have to watch a different show? Okay, I'll give it a try. I like some crime drama. I've been suckered into Law & Order episodes, those channels that have like 24-hour Law & Orders. Because the content interests me. I don't really watch Law & Order to learn anything. I watch it for content to, learn, to just enjoy. All right. Education doesn't always work like this. Often a story is chosen. I don't have any props close by that's educational. Box cereal. Uh, but in education, sometimes we just got to read a story. Like the teacher says, you must read this. So what's your why? Grades. That's a lame why. That's like saying, you know, because I told you to. All right, grades. Future grades. All right, being able to get into college, graduating. Yeah, yeah. Boring. These are lame reasons. The intent should be, what can I steal from this lesson that will, in the short term, perhaps make me able to speak with more of these people, uh, make me more articulate to be able to chat to that dude right there, to be able to chat to this girl, to be able to chat to these people right here, to be able to chat with, wow, what can I do? So today in one class, it was Ben Franklin. Uh, what's the, uh, oh, yeah, I actually have to yell at, oh my God. What's the intent there? Well, he talks about a schedule. He talks about, uh, 
his 13 virtues. These are reasons that we can apply, especially the schedule. Uh, what about most dangerous game? Well, it's a story. It takes a little while to read. Uh, this one, I got to be honest, uh, I will argue the intent is essentially I need to see how they can read. And so, boom, I now am aware that the majority of my grade nine students read at a pretty good level. Nice job, ninth grade. Uh, I know that the majority of my juniors and seniors read at a decent level. Nice job, old kids. I also am aware that I got a couple who, uh, as soon as I gave them a chance to read, they're being stubborn. This is, these early things are kind of my cheats because I need to learn. I need to see who's capable of what. And I need to use it to point out that sometimes your intent is just, I got to take care of business. Hey, I want to be known as a guy who takes care of business. That's a good way to be known. I want to be known as someone who takes care of things. Do it. So that could be your intent. Your grade. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. This is what happens when I do this after school. Ooh. I'm poached. Not poached. That's an egg. Read for a reason. What is your reason? I can't give it to you. I give you suggestions, but you got to come up with it on your own. Intent, not content. Content will betray you sometimes. Intent will not. All right. Oh, oh, oh. One more thing. How did I teach it? I used a music video. And then I went to an English teacher's best friends, the comments. Because in the comments, boom, you see all the people who've connected with this in more in powerful, amazing, in this case, heartfelt ways. Uh, that's why I did it. Because I put it out, oh my God. This is what I'm like after school. After teaching all day, this is what I do. Wow. Maybe I need to have an afternoon coffee. All right. Although I drink decaf. Okay, that's all. Read for intent, not content.